As a referral in ICU, uh, we often will have to go out and pick up a baby that's born at another hospital or another location that needs a specialized care here at Women's Hospital. And that's called a neonatal transport. Uh, it is specifically designed to go and get babies. It has team members that are specially trained to take care of premature babies and we use specialized equipment. There are many reasons we might go out and pick up a baby. Um, sometimes they are born prematurely. Sometimes they're born at term but they become ill or even babies that are two or three months of age may have a condition that requires them to be treated in a specialized NICU setting. Uh, some of these babies may have uh, medical problems but they may have surgical problems and are therefore are brought to the NICU. And during a transport we send what's called a transport team and that is composed of different people that work at the hospital and work with the neonatologist. The team is led by a neonatal nurse practitioner. They're accompanied by an NICU nurse, a nurse who has special training in the care of uh, sick and premature babies, and oftentimes a respiratory therapist who also, also has training uh, to take care of premature babies. The team will go out to wherever the baby is, get the baby stabilized, talk to the family, let them know what we're going to do, and then bring the baby back to the hospital. Now during that transport, uh, essentially we have to take a mobile ICU with us. And so for many babies that involves putting them in an incubator and attached on the incubator are all the different other pieces of equipment. There's monitors to measure the baby's heart rate. There's monitors to measure the baby's oxygen levels. Um, we also have equipment that can help the baby breathe. And then we also have equipment to even do lab tests on the baby to check their blood sugar or check their um, what's called a blood gas to measure how much oxygen is in their bloodstream. There are many similarities between a, a neonatal transport or an NICU transport and other transports for like adults. For instance, many will use ambulances uh, to transport the patient. But what makes the transport for a baby different is that the babies require specialized equipment. One, they have to have, be in an incubator to keep warm. Adults is, you know, usually can maintain their own temperature. We also, the equipment we use is also very, very small uh, because we have small patients um, in terms of the breathing machines or respirators. Uh, then we also have very specialized equipment to do lab tests on the babies while we're in transport because sometimes we can be in the back of an ambulance for one or two hours and we have to essentially be a mobile ICU.